Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Manival, and today in art class, we're going to be doing a project on texture, which is one of the elements of art. And a texture is how something feels. And we're going to use objects that you might have in your house, and you're going to have to do a little bit of a scavenger hunt. I'm going to give you some ideas today. Some of the places where you can find texture is the bottom of shoes. This is one of my sandals that I found a really nice bumpy texture. And I also have a pair of sneakers that has some great designs and texture on the bottom. You might go to the grocery store and you can find things like produce bags. This one was um, had some oranges or maybe avocados and I cut it up and this is what I'm using. I also have cardboard that if you take the smooth side and pull some of the cardboard back, it exposes this rough, bumpy side, and that's a good place to use texture rubbings. Another object that you might have at home is tin foil, and if you take tin foil and crunch it up into a ball and roll it back out a little bit and make it smooth, this is going to give you a rough texture that you might be able to make a texture rubbing on. I have things like tool, which is um, some fabric that you would put underneath some of your dresses or clothing, or maybe you use this stuff to uh, wrap gifts is something that you might use. And I also have things like spaghetti if I put this on the table this would create a texture or maybe you have like something like a register that the heat comes out of and it's bumpy or go find things at home I know something that I'm sitting on right now is one of my little cubes and the cube has a weaving texture on it so have fun and go find some things that you have at home that would be really cool to use. You need to find four of them. So I want you to pause the video and go find the objects that you need to, you need to do your art project on and we'll get started. Today we are going to be drawing a person with an umbrella and we're going to take that umbrella and do texture rubbings today because we've been learning about texture. And texture, remember, is how something feels. And we're gonna take objects um, that we have at home and go find those things. So here's my sketch that I did, and this is how the final art project is going to look. Before I started my picture, I started to practice a little bit and take crayons and do some rubbings over the top. You can see this wasn't my best page, but here's an example of some of the things that I did that were my best results. And once I tested it, then I knew what was going to be the thing that would work best in my final art project, which is this one right here. If you need to pause right now, now's the time for you to go find some of the objects. You're gonna need one, two, three, four things to do different textures on your umbrella. So make sure you have four items. Now to get those textures um, rubbings, the best thing to do is to get a crayon. And you wanna get a crayon that doesn't have much of the paper on. You can see that I just found some old crayons and I tore the paper off. So here's an example of one and it, the, the crayon could be completely full or this one is an example of one that's broken. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel the paper off. And I wanna take that crayon and I wanna pinch it from the side like this, like an alligator, pinch it, and hold it from the side and rub. So I'm gonna show you an example here of a bottom of a shoe. Shoes are great things that have a variety of different bumps and textures on them. So you can get different pairs of shoes and do this project, but I found a pair of shoes that I had that had an interesting bumpy texture on the bottom. And I'm gonna take this piece of paper and just show you how this technique works. You're gonna take the crayon, pinch it, and then rub on the side and there you can see there's my texture so here's the example that we are going to try to draw and we're going to start with the umbrella part i'd like you to take a pencil to do this and you can see that i just took a regular um, marker and traced over top of the pencil lines when i'm done to make it stand out you could use a black colored pencil or a black crayon but the black crayon can smudge sometimes so I'm gonna recommend that if you do have a marker or a colored pencil that's the best thing to work I'm going to start with a rainbow curved line so here we go towards the top rainbow touching almost to the side 
make sure that you're using your picture space and making that a big rainbow from side to side. It's almost touching the edge of the paper. Once I have my rainbow, now I'm gonna come down in the middle and I'm gonna draw a vertical straight line up and down. And at the top, I'm going to do a circle And then I'm going to draw another curved line coming right down in the middle of these two. And another curved line starting at the top of my vertical line and coming down. And now to make the umbrella parts, I'm going to do some more curved lines like a rainbow, but they're gonna be much shorter than these. So I'm gonna start from this corner and go up like a rainbow. Start at this corner up like a rainbow start at this line and up like a rainbow start at this line and go to the next line up like a rainbow and there you go the top of your rainbow or your umbrella is done now i'm going to come and i'm going to make the body of my person the way that i make the body is i'm going to do a diagonal line so i'm going to come here there's my diagonal line i'm going to come over here and make another diagonal line and then I'm going to connect those two diagonal lines with a horizontal line that goes side to side. So I want them to be even, horizontal, going across like that. Now I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to do my arm of the person with a curved line. And then I'm gonna go right next to that curved line that I just made and make another curved line and then I'm gonna connect that curved line together with a line that goes up and down. And now it's time for the hands. We're gonna make one small bump, like a rainbow, going sideways, and another big rainbow and connecting back, or another big bump. And there you go, there's your hand. Now it's time for the umbrella part. I'm going to make a straight line going all the way down to my hand. Skip over the hand, Come down and make the letter J, like that. And I'm gonna come over here and I wanna make this a bubble letter J. So I'm gonna come right next to the line that I just made and make another straight line down. Follow the line that I did and make a J shape and connect it. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make a pocket by making a U shape and a horizontal line going across and skip a little space and another horizontal line. There's my pocket. And I need buttons on my rain jacket so that I don't get wet. So I need two oval shapes that I'm gonna color in one, two, and three. Now that I have my rain jacket, I'm gonna come down and make my feet. I do my feet by making a straight line down. Leave a little bit of a finger space and I'm gonna make another straight line down. And then I'm gonna come and make this line just a little bit longer than the first line that I made. And now I'm going to connect it with a curved line. Now let's come over to the next one. We want a long straight line, short straight line, curved line to make the boot and go back to where you started and then I'm just going to add another horizontal line for the tops of the boots and I want to make it look like I have a rain puddle underneath to stamp on and make splashes so I'm gonna make a line that's wavy and curvy coming down and around by the feet so a curved line for the puddle and that's my friends is how we do the drawing part of this now we're time it's time to go back in and do the umbrella part and the umbrella i want to make sure that you're using those textured objects that you found so if you look at my example close up i didn't just color these in i used my texture rubbings i'll show you how you're going to be doing this to start my r project one of the things that i used was this tooling you use whatever objects that you can have at home I know that one of the things that you probably do have is spaghetti. So let me show you this little trick. If I take spaghetti and I put this 
on my table and spread them out a little bit. I want to make sure that they go over top of that umbrella part. And now I'm going to stick my umbrella over top of this. If I take my crayon, remember to pinch it like an alligator, and I go over top, look at that. That makes lines. The texture lines of the spaghetti is coming out. And sometimes if you, they're not close enough, if you just move them a little bit and move your paper, just make sure you stay inside the lines. There you go, I'm making my own texture. I'm just gonna move them a little bit more Move them a little bit more and keep on coloring. And there, my friends, there's the first example of my found object that I did texture. Now, you know, another thing that you might probably have is some coins. I'm going to take one of these coins and I'm going to do polka dots on this next one. So I'm going to put that coin, make sure that it's underneath the umbrella, and I'm going to just rub only on that part and there you go now I'm gonna take this make sure that I move it to another spot I'm gonna feel it with my fingers and there's another texture and this one I'm gonna only do part I want to get it right there at this spot right here I can feel my finger can I feel this going a little bit off the edge oh yes I can okay perfect that's a good spot for it right there there's another texture. So that's an example of how I might do that umbrella. And I know that I have white spaces in between. I can leave that white, or maybe I wanna take another um, crayon or something and color the in-between spaces to make it look a little bit different. Okay, and I'm not sure what other objects that you have, but here's my example of that shoe that I talked about. If you don't have crayons, something that you can use is, I've got chalk right here. Chalk or oil pastels is another example of an art material that you might have at home that will work. I know that markers doesn't, but look at the way I'm grabbing this and I'm just rubbing only on the part that's inside the umbrella lines that I wanna do. So there you can see, that's an example of the chalk example. And then my last one, I think I'm going to go back to a crayon again. And this one, I have this orange bag that I had that I got across. So if I put this down and I put that over top and take my crayon, which I don't know if you, any of you guys have these, but twisty crayons are great too. You could use them just like a regular crayon. Oh, you can't see that very well. So I think I want to change my color. This one, I'm going to go back to my dark green maybe. And there's my umbrella design. I know that this one I had different things like the corrugated cardboard that I put underneath for this one. I used the mesh bag here just like I did over here and my shoe. And this one was the tooling that I put underneath. But depending upon what you have at home, your textures might look different than mine. Once you have the textures, then it's time for the fun part. I want you to nice and neatly color in your rain jacket. I know that I have yellow, but maybe you want an orange rain jacket or a blue rain jacket. You can really change whatever colors that you want, but color it in the best that you can. And then once you're done coloring, one of the other steps that you're gonna do is you're gonna take a blue and make dashed lines on the outside of your paper to do the raindrops. And there's my example. I need more time to color this in and I know that you guys know how to do nice neat coloring and staying inside the lines just like this example that I don't need to show you how to do that. But I hope you enjoyed your textured rubbing umbrella art project of a person. Have a nice day boys and girls and I hope to see you soon.